hey guys welcome to my channel thank you so much for clicking on this video it makes this mama happy i am going to be talking very because mr man is sleeping right behind me and um yeah it's just chaos in this house that's the only time i could record this okay for those who are new my name is masi i am a mom content creator and um yeah i share exactly that motherhood everything that gives me joy a bit of lifestyle vlogging here and there um but this is me i'm a mom of boys and i hope you're gonna like it here don't forget to subscribe um i would really appreciate to have you over so i hope you guys can hear me clearly and we'll jump right straight into it um yeah so these questions are asked on instagram and they are in no particular order okay so i'll just i'll just answer them as as i go so question number one so they say what did you use to get your stomach back i don't have my stomach back <laughs> hold on i don't have my stomach back at all um yeah um i did bind okay I did not bind immediately after birth I tried to but my tummy was huge um, you know like straight after delivery guys I am sweating it is hot I didn't bind straight away because my tummy was still very swollen and so big so I waited I waited for like a week I think after I came back from hospital so that was like a week or two postpartum and then I wore it then I wore it all the time um, I don't think it made any difference to be honest with you I doubt at all I, I don't know I don't think it made a difference but um, I'm not on any diet I think that's one of the questions here as well so I've just been drinking lots of water thank God I have like a thirst for more water so I've been drinking a lot of water um, both during the day and at night because of I'm breastfeeding so I'm always just thirsty um, I think that could have helped more than the binder did um yeah so i still have a tummy it's not as huge obviously but um i think eventually then it naturally just you know goes back to its place gangan, gangan. so be patient and kind to yourself okay how long did your c-section pain heal okay so i don't want to lie to you second time around i felt it more <laughs> i was telling a friend of mine oh, you know what it, it it does feel like i think it's because obviously they they cut on top of the other scar right the other scar that's already there and this is my second time doing a c-section so this is my second um c-section and you do feel man i know something happened so I won't lie this time around i felt it more than i did um with my first pregnancy but it wasn't anything to like rave too much about i really did not let my body get used to the pain i was still moving around yeah i didn't go down the stairs but i would try to just you know stretch out my legs a bit and i'm sure that held it i don't know guys couldn't see my quasi section in fact postpartum is just something else okay okay did you experience any postpartum skin changes no i believe my baby gave me the best skin ever i'm not wearing makeup today as well i'm, I'm a bit shiny because i have my sunscreen on um but i had the best skin during this pregnancy during the pregnancy and postpartum i had the most beautiful skin i loved my skin and i think also i can credit that to the water i consume a lot of water you guys you see this this is even small i don't know how big this is but i have like three of them three of them um during the day um and then obviously i drink again at night so it, it's crazy it's, it's really crazy okay and then someone says i'm two months postpartum is it safe to drink alcohol i saw you having a drink <laughs> at a party i'm craving my wine i wanted to so yes i did go out with my husband i don't know how many months or how many weeks postpartum that was um but we did go out for our friend's wedding 
Um, I did have bubbly. Um, I had two glasses of bubbly. They were so good. Um, so I am not a doctor, guys. I can't tell you when it's safe or when it's not safe to 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 consume alcohol. Um, I'm, I am exclusively breastfeeding, right? That means my baby only takes breast milk. Um, but also, I could drink that night because um, I keep a stash. I have a stash in my fridge, in my freezer. And so when I want to have a good time, a drink or two, I will then have him, you know, uh, drink that milk from the fridge. Um, and so what happens to me when I do that, I will usually pump and dump, okay? But also, if I have one glass of that something and I don't have to breastfeed in the next two to three hours, I do not have to, 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 to dump. So I don't dump um, sometimes if I still have like two to three hours to go. But if I had one glass, don't now go and have two bottles of something. Um, and think that you you know you're gonna feed your baby right after it's it's not good guys it's not good so please don't take anything I say this is me this is my life um, do not risk anything rather ask your doctor or do what your heart tells you okay so how do you increase your milk supply hmm great question I love breastfeeding guys and it happened this time my dream just came to life I was dreaming of just I was dreaming of just breastfeeding my baby like to infinity and I know we're not there yet but it's happening it's happening and I'm so happy with my supply it is a lot and my baby only has been having breast milk guys and can you see how healthy and bouncy he is <laughs> so it's really great um, to be honest with you to be very honest with you I haven't been doing anything out of the ordinary to increase my supply I've been drinking a lot of water um, I wake up and have oats every single morning with obviously lots of milk um i have my tea i'll show you just a picture here i forgot what it's called now it's a kamine mama tea or yeah breastfeeding tea um i don't know if that helps i don't want to lie to you uh but i do have it and then that's it for now really i haven't been taking i haven't I, like i see i know people take bars um and lactation cookies and things i haven't been taking that I've just been drinking my water and having my cereal and lots of milk and that's just what I've been doing. I love breastfeeding and it's just been going for me, to be honest. Also, I think because my baby feeds on demand, it must be helping with that as well. So, are you breastfeeding? How do you keep your milk supply? I think I just spoke to that now. I do, breast, I do breastfeed and I breastfeed on demand and we're exclusively doing it. Okay, how did you treat your scar? Do they cover it or do you need to dress it? So, um, when you leave the hospital, you obviously have like a, a film on, right? Uh, a clear thingy. And then um, you have to keep that on, I think for like six, seven days. And then you take it off, right? And then the, they give you instruction on how to clean your wound. Um, maybe it goes from hospital to hospital or from doctor to doctor, but I was given like a guide. On how to clean my, my my wound right yes you cover it there's a certain uh, I'm just not in my room right now but it's it's in my room I wanted to show you but there's a certain um, tape that you given a prescription for that you actually have to dress it with after you've taken out that main one right and then each time it falls off it peels off you take it off and you clean your wound again with like salty warm water um, you clean it and then you put it again and as soon as it wants to get off again as soon as it shows um, signs of being changed you change it you clean like that cycle that's what I've been doing um, and yeah hey mama after how many days did you use belly binders when is it safe to use after c-section I think I already answered this question um, I used the belly binder I think about a week or two after giving birth because I was swollen so I couldn't use it immediately after that was my plan I wanted to use it immediately after giving birth but I couldn't hey mommy what did you use on your c-section scar to heal quicker 
Yo, I didn't use anything, hey? I was just, I was scared to put anything. My doctor did not recommend anything for me. Uh, the only thing I would do is to just wash it with um, water that has a bit of salt in it, like local, local water, and then I just, you know, clean the the wound and then before I apply the, the tape I was talking about, but that's the only thing I was doing. Okay. What do you use for the dark patches on your bum if you had any during your pregnancy? I did not have any patches. I did not have any patches on my bum. So I'm not sure what that could be. Sorry, I can't answer that. <laughs> Why are you so sexy? My friend, you are wild. I'm sexy because <laughs> don't be silly Nico. okay so how long did you wait to start taking baby out for walks um, or to the mall um, I know this is like very cultural for other people um, and I always say this on my channel that my husband and I are very like we do our own thing right we don't disrespect culture, but we do also what feels right for our family, and I think that's fair. So I think we started going out just after a month. No, after the six week. Yeah, I think after we took him in for the six week checkup and everything was good, then we decided, you know what, let's go, <laughs> let's go to a wine farm, let's go have fun. So that's exactly when we did after the six week mark. How long after giving birth did your hair shed? If you experienced any shedding. I did not have any hair shedding, um, but my hair is just weird. The texture is just crazy now. It's bowling out of control. Let me take this one because it's up now. Are you up now, mommy? Okay, while he tries to eat or he doesn't want to um okay where was i was the c-section pain worse this time than the first yep it was a lot i don't want to scare you but i felt it so much i felt it a lot now and like i said i think it's because obviously they cut on top of the scar that's already there so yep you feel it a lot more this time any mom guilt? I have a 10 year old. I'm so afraid she'll feel neglected should I give birth. Oh, what's wrong? I, I think it's normal to feel like that. Um, I have a 3 year old. Um, he wasn't there at the time when I gave birth and oh, he gave me hell throughout the pregnancy number one. And I think my hormones were just bowling out of control. It was bad y'all. Especially the first trimester of my pregnancy. Um, she and my baby needed me so much and I was just, I was sick. I was like, no, I don't want anyone. Like, give me space. It was, it was bad. And so I, I thought that that would actually have him feel like, oh, mommy doesn't want me anymore or whatever. But it didn't change anything, to be honest with you. Nothing changed in our relationship. Um, but it just got it just got better, especially towards the end of the pregnancy. It just got better, and I involved him more. That's another thing that I did. Like if I was um, if his if I was massaging the barber, like the tummy, I'd let him massage me as well. Or if Daddy was washing my feet or whatever, he'd help Daddy wash my feet. So we try to involve him in the pregnancy as much as we could, so that he doesn't feel like this is. This is like he he doesn't belong here anymore. So even when Baba came, <laughs> yeah, if you haven't watched my birth video, you watch it here. He was obviously I think it's, it's normal as well. He was not having it. He didn't want this Baba. He didn't want anything to do with it. But trust me, that same day when the nurse came to fetch a Ganesh for one of there's many screenings most that happen with babies. So I think he was supposed to see the his PD. His pediatrician so the nurses came to fetch him to collect him to go and when the nurses came okay to take Agani Jose was like do not take my baby oh that's my baby you can't take my baby so those were the first signs I thought mm-hmm you were acting up a few minutes ago and now you don't want this baby to leave so 
it happens but i mean i think don't be stressed too much about it because i think it's all normal to be honest he'll come around oh she in your case she'll come around all right so when did your c-section started healing um, and what did you use during recovery i think i've been answering this um over and over um okay is baby having enough from only breast milk my four months my four months old cries all the time and mom says he's hungry no no he's not hungry <laughs> when baby like this is what i don't understand with people people think that when baby cry they're hungry no not all the time baby needs stimulation he needs to play he probably needs to change his diaper he is tired he wants to sleep there's so many things or he has gas you know there's so many things um to think about when the baby cries and that's their way of communication anyway so yo i had a nanny back in the day see now i'm going bye bye i have a nanny one of my many nannies back in the day and every time Jose, Jose was a baby, every time he would cry, he would she would literally feed my child. And she finished all my stash because she was doing that. Oh, it's bad. Anyway, what are you grieving? Ooh, what am I grieving? I'm grieving my time. Being a mom of two has been crazier than crazier than the first time. Crazier than just being a mom to one kid. So I'm grieving my time. I am grieving my body. It changed again a lot. So I'm grieving all of those things. Um, sure, guys, I'm grieving a lot, <laughs> right? At some point, at some point, I was grieving my marriage as well because, to be honest with you, things change so much after baby. After baby number two, things change so much. And I think also men in general are very oblivious to to like the transition that comes with two babies. So it was it was it needed work. <laughs> it needed work and um luckily for him he's a very good team player. So we we were fine, we managed, but what I'm telling you is it takes a toll on everything around you starting with your marriage because you're exhausted and you may feel like they're not doing enough right and because men are just like what do you want me to do and i hate telling someone what to do you see so that's my weakness and so yeah you just need someone to be up there because it's rough all right okay is it true what they say about the first poop? <laughs> the first poop after birth yes it is yo it is it's very so it's very so you guys it takes everything out of you i it's so it's so mine <laughs> i think it's worse after c-section maybe i don't know i don't have experience of like a natural birth but i think it's it, it's crazy with c-sections it's it's it is so yeah it is so but at least um you should be using um uh, what is it things to kind of Hey guys, TMI. You must be using like something to help you loosen your, you know, your stool a bit so it just goes out nicely. So I did have that. I had, um, what is it? I'll post a picture of it if I see it, if I still have it. Um, but yeah, it was, uh, it wasn't suppositories, it was pills. So I just have pills every four hours, I think, just to make my stool more easy on me. So that's what I used okay and then the next one says do you feel different after giving birth to baby number two compared to number one or moms can expect similar um i think what's the question do i feel different i don't feel any different um besides the fact that it's a lot more work you know what i mean i think with one baby it's like okay you're dealing with this one child and you know you kind of know what i don't know you kind of know what to put in place to to help you with that but with two babies now it's different and they in different stages Hosi is now a toddler and he needs attention and we are more shy he's he's flying up and down in my house literally spider-man so dealing with that and then dealing with a newborn who's crying and needs mama and wants to breastfeed and i'm sleep deprived and 
all of those things it's a lot so i don't feel any different but i just feel i feel overwhelmed um from the responsibility it's a lot okay uh oh how much weight did you gain during pregnancy ha! do you really want to know <laughs> guys on the day i gave birth okay on that day i gave birth um i think it is on the video as well but i didn't show it at the time because i was like oh child what is this i was 100.9 i think kg it's real mm -hmm. i was over 100 okay so i usually weigh between 79 and 83 kg that's my normal weight so it had gone up to over 100 because of this one <laughs> okay so can you tell us more about the issue they found when birthing agani hmm that's a very sensitive one but um i have recorded a video talking about that and you guys are gonna see it soon it's a lot but yeah um you will be seeing that soon so i'll be sharing that with you and then if you had previously mentioned you look forward to breastfeeding how's it going amazing 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 i never thought i'd have this much supply to keep a baby alive for this long i mean we are four months now and he's doing good so i'm happy how are you doing girl thank you for asking i'm doing fine now i'm so happy now i'm, I'm really good i'm happy i'm content i think i know what i'm doing Yo, at first I didn't, guys, and yo, I was just bendikowa, bendikowa, seriously. I didn't know what to do with these kids. It was crazy. And it was just, it, it's, it's a lot. It was just, Mrs. Pity Pit. But I'm, I'm happy, I'm good. Um, yeah, we move. <laughs> I'm great. Thank you so much. And then, how do you lose weight while breastfeeding? I'm not trying to lose weight right now. At all. I have a gani. Yo, he's teething and he does funny things i'm not trying to lose weight but i did sign up at gym um but that's also not going very well because i'm tired to make time for gym it's it's crazy yeah. man, guys it's difficult you it's difficult and also i think it's too early i think i was too optimistic i feel like if you had given birth give yourself like grace you don't have to go to the gym immediately like after the six weeks or like after a month or even three months like even go after six months or even a year because your body i think your body is still healing our bodies are still healing you know so i would feel it very heavy like i'd feel so heavy to actually do anything and i know it's not just my fat yes i i i gained a lot now but it, it was just a lot and for me i don't want to no man it was just not happening so I, i'm not going as often now to the gym i'm taking a break and i'm i'm just doing exercises light and lean and those are just to i don't know to stretch out my body more and for me to be more flexible i take walks as well with the kids so that's what i've been doing but yeah i'm not trying to lose weight per se like i don't have um a goal that's what i must say i don't have a goal um yeah no diet no goal right now i'm just trying to to be active basically so how do you love your body postpartum i love my body because it's mine <laughs> i'm not gonna borrow it to someone so i love it i'm fine with it uh, but obviously when you when you have just had a baby it's different you know and you feel somewhat you know about it but i mean as time goes you you start to appreciate it um and you embrace it the way it is right so don't be guilty of not loving your body after birth because it's it's weird after birth and it looks funny so but i mean as time goes you start being comfortable with it and you just start loving yourself more man and just appreciating the gifts that you know this body held so yeah i'm good now i'm happy um it could do with a bit of tummy tuck <laughs> and bbl i'm kidding um i wouldn't be mad at a tummy tuck though go judge your mother okay so 
how has the transition been from one to two? I think I answered that. Um, it's been crazy. I'm dealing with crazy boys at this point. One is hungry um, and the other is just crazy breaking my house apart. Um, but I love them. And yeah, so I've, we've, my husband and I have just been trying to deal with <laughs> um, all of these things and the stages they are both in. And it's it's going fine now we've now we we have the hang of things but before yo it was crazy yeah. and yeah i think i am done guys i went through all of them um that was quick i think um thank you so much for sending all of those questions i really do appreciate it i hope i answered your question and you are clear on obviously whatever you wanted me to address uh but yeah guys giving birth there's no child's play giving birth is it changes you it changes how you think it changes your body it changes how you see things it's just your perspective on everything basically it just changes so um but we are grateful to god for this beautiful gift and yeah that's it i hope you enjoyed this video i will see you guys next week um i hope you are good and you're having a fantastic new year all the best and ciao